The art of doing nothing is something that changed my life. Packed with knowledge. Eye-opener. Uh, you learn something new about yourself and about the world around you. I think that's uh, fascinating. Refreshing and the way she did, uh, interacted with the audience, the way she brought out the information. It actually was more as sharing knowledge rather than sharing information and also from her own experiences. So that's something that uh, yeah exceeded my expectations. I think she's a very inspiring person and just the, the, the subject of today's meeting subtle art of doing nothing was you know, very inspiring for me because I work a lot and I'm always with my thinking mind. It gave me some nice new insights on how my brain and, and body works. Yeah, I really like the idea because we're always so conditioned to, to always do so much and always want more and keep ourselves busy with, with things all the time. So, and I really started appreciating like, like taking time for myself and yeah, try, try to do nothing, which is, which is quite a challenge. It has such a bad connotation, doing nothing. When, when you tell people you do nothing, they think you are lazy, but uh, you know, just explain that that's uh, when great things happen and uh, that's when great breakthroughs happen and, uh, and we should just change uh, the way we look at uh, doing nothing and uh, we should find ways how we can find time to ourselves and, and just uh, let our subconscious uh, mind, mind uh, work instead of our conscious part of, of the mind. I like the idea to do uh, nothing and get the results. <laughs> I've summed up a lot of the research that uh, I connect with and about how creativity can be really enhanced by having some idle time for yourself. So I found that uh, the idea of tapping into that uh, vast uh, creativity, vast sea of creativity, was uh, something that uh, yeah people needed to hear. And I believe that the energy really went up. So I, I definitely took something back from today, more than what I expected. I'm going to be more focused on those aha moments. And I, I learned today that that creativity is not something you can plan to do in a brainstorm or you just it, it, it just pops up and you just have to notice it. at a point of time uh, I was too busy and whenever I did nothing let's say it would bring back feelings of guilt that you know you should do something you should do something or waste away your time like that. and when, when my when I started to take time off and do nothing really like nothing and let my creativity come through that was the time when it, uh, it, it, it gave more meaning to my life because I did more things after that and in a much more effective way. And it also brought down more creative and innovative ideas from my side. Well, I'm going to practice this at home as well, maybe with some friends. So. Yeah. It was very informative and I also liked a bit of the personal, um, personal thoughts and experiences about it and, um, and I also like that we had an interactive part where we really did some exercises to uh, yeah to get a bit of engagement and really to, to, to feel feel how to do some exercises for yourself. more than, than I expected actually that uh, it was uh, very interactive and uh, yes it, it, it definitely was, was worth it.